when a lot of people think of their favorite Chikara matches, uh, their brain probably goes to King of Trios, or uh, perhaps to the arena in South Philadelphia, or a Cybernetico, or a large event. But one of my favorite Chikara matches happened in a very unlikely place, on a very unlikely date, uh, September 13, 2009, in Nashua, New Hampshire, the, the bustling uh, home of a Dunder Mifflin branch. Uh, Mike Quackenbush and Jigsaw wrestled Brian Danielson and Claudio Castagnoli in a tag team match. They were known as Team Uppercut as they teamed with Dave Taylor earlier in that year's King of Trios. And the, the historic uh, perception of this match, I mean, uh, all four, or excuse me, five combined uh, Campeonato de Prejas reigns, all four of these guys have either been King of Trios winners or King of Trio finalists, uh, you know, and two of them have gone on to superstardom in a company called World Wrestling Entertainment. And I, and I just think it goes to show that um, these moments just happen. These matches just happen. Obviously, when you see these four guys on paper, you know they're going to have a great match. But in that rec center in front of, you know, three, four hundred people on a Sunday afternoon in a tiny ring in Nashua, New Hampshire, at a time uh, that I needed to be reminded how much I love pro wrestling, uh, I loved pro wrestling that day. Um, it was done uh, purely and well and excitedly and of course uh, given the four guys involved you shouldn't be surprised uh, it reinforces also uh, something that may young once taught us uh, that no one escapes the alligator clutch uh, so yeah um, also that one thing I remember about that day is uh, I had long been a referee uh, for Mike Quackenbush for my first seven years in Jakar and that was the first day that he asked me to commentate his match. He said he'd like to hear my voice on the match, and that was the first time I'd really been paid such a high compliment for my commentary. So uh, I hope you'll enjoy my voice, and uh, the wrestling action, I'm pretty sure, will speak for itself as this. Mike Quackenbush and Jigsaw versus Claudio Castagnoli and Brian Danielson, one of my favorite Chikara matches of all time. Wowie wow wow, Brian Danielson returning to a Chikara ring for the final time, the first time since King of Trios week and the American Dragon in his final countdown tour and we are graced with his presence here in Nashua, New Hampshire, loud and noxious. But it is not going to be an easy night for Brian tonight, they're taking on Chikara's, two of Chikara's best, Jigsaw and Lightning Mike Quackenbush. The founder, the patriarch of the Chikara family, Lightning Mike Quackenbush, along with one of his most prized protégés, Jigsaw. Tag team specialists as they match three points very quickly earlier this year. Claudio and Brian, as I mentioned, kind of king of trios partners as Team Uppercut, their third partner, the Squire Dave Taylor. We saw handshakes there before this match, Sporting Connors, but you didn't see a handshake between Mike Quackenbush and Claudio Castagnoli. Look at that blood dating back to the King of Trios. Perennial rivals as well as co-trainers at the Chikara Wrestle Factory. Jigsaw, a student of Quacks. Not of Claudio's, it should be noted though. Tag in, in comes the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. It's a privilege just to be commentating this match. Clean break. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think Mike wants to wrestle you. <laughs> I'm sure that's the truth. Jigsaw bowing to his trainer, said, I think Mike wants to wrestle you. Absolutely, a little show of respect there. Quack and Danielson, here we go, they lock it up. Two of the finest technical wrestlers in all of the land. Ryan Danielson, as you mentioned, Loudon, the best in the world, not just a cute nickname that's handed out very easily. No. Ryan Danielson earned that nickname. It was given to him Absolutely. by the wrestling world. Absolutely plying his trade for nine years on the independent scene. A student of a guy called Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid. You know that guy? That's yeah, Ryan Danielson. Yeah, that's who trained Brian. Drop kick, nip up by Quack. Whoa. The rivalry heats up. That wasn't nice. This is awesome. Never seen her such a chant for a finger lock. But hey, there we go. Brian now swept off his feet by Quack. Back going right to the leg. Trying to bar that leg, but Brian there safely, I believe, legally going to the chin. <laughs> Trying to create some distance. No, now look at that. Okay. Just, like that. that Just like that. Just like that. Brian down some turning tables. Quack though with his fingers interlaced. Two, three. Claudio there, very simply. Clean break. Kicks, kicks Quack's leg off the bottom rope. Lock up again. 
Danielson goes behind. Spins him around. Yeah. Going to the arm. Single Trips leg the take leg down. down. Beautiful amateur wrestling. Wrenching that leg. By the best in the world. You name a guy that's passed by the independent scene in the past five, six years. Brian Danielson has been in there and gone toe to toe with him in the ring. And probably taught him a thing or two. Absolutely, absolutely. Our loss, Jakar's loss, the entire independent wrestling world's loss. Quacks really got that. Oh no! Will be the gain of some other folks. Danielson just slid right out of that hole. We're just lucky to have him here on his last tour here, gracing a Jakar ring. Gracing this Nashua, New Hampshire crowd and Quack with a one-legged dropkick scrolls right into a three-quarter roll. Brian now taking a second to think about his strategy. Absolutely. That, into that strategy position. Facing off. They lock up again. Now Quack goes behind. Slips through. Holds on a cravat there. He's got it locked in. Tight. Pulling Brian in the middle of the ring. Not sure Quack's got mine, but as the master of a thousand holds, you know. It's a game of human chess. He's two, three moves ahead. Brian now trying to break that. No, Brian's got no at least 999. <laughs> at least. Able to break the cravat. Quack trying to hold the arms, but again going for that. Quack with the fingers locked. Knows how dangerous that maneuver is. And Quack to the ropes. Right no shame in that. That'll break your arm. Clean break. Clean break again. All right. Well, the, it's been a sportsmanlike rivalry. For now. When Mike and Claudia hook it up, I, I, it's, sometimes that goes up the way. We'll see. Bets are it's true. Quack now once again. Ryan Danielson. Cordy holds there. Hits the ropes. Ropes. Holds off. Quack goes down. down. Holding on to the Cordy. Oh, yeah. Around Brian, up to a vertical basis. Mm. Quack goes on the brakes again. Ryan Danielson unable to put Kraken into the ropes. Now with the pressure on the triceps. Quack holding on that courting hold again with his fingers interlaced. Danielson slipping through now. Oh, oh, oh hey! Graduates himself to quite the back suplex. Tag to Claudio. Claudio. And uh, I guess Quack says, Tag to Jake. Touche for now. I don't give a joke. Jigsaw suffering a knee injury just six days ago at a Dragon Gate USA card in Chicago, Illinois. Nowhere near here. But don't think Claudio hasn't heard of it. No. Heard about it, and you saw it limping to the ring. That may be the Achilles heel knee, as it was, of this contest. Or team uppercut. Or for it. Quack and Jigsaw, but team uppercut. Small package. Brian Danielson in, a, in a, addition to all of his the fantastic moves that he is in, are in his repertoire. It was for a time, it was Mr. Small Package. He uh, seemed to have perfected the art of the small package back in, I believe it was 2006. There's an uppercut! Dean, one, one on the uppercut meter. That's two. Four on by Jig. Uppercut by Danielson. Jig had a tough match in Chicago recently. He did. He's going to be feeling these uppercuts. Wow. Only a few people can deliver them quite like that. Jig waiting with an arm drag. And a second. There's the quickness of Jigsaw. Drop kick. Only one foot connects, but that's enough. You saw him favor that knee, though. When he... Absolutely. Ah. Now, while Danielson isn't on his way out, don't think Jigsaw or Quack, a guy knows what it would mean to knock off Danielson on his way out. On this final countdown tour, what it would mean for anybody to get a pin over this guy. Uppercut by Danielson. You mean a pin on the best in the world. Absolutely. Claudia has the knee out. Doesn't think so. Rolls back. And comes Jigsaw from top. I All the way from top. Comes out hard on Ryan Danielson. Quack for Daniel. Yeah. Hey, a head scissors over goes Danielson to the floor and Jigsaw knows the Jigsaw fly. Fly. Boom! All the way out here. Right out in front of us. That makes tags legal and Quack and Claudio, as far as the rules are concerned, are the legal man. Claudio just lifted, just deadlifted Quack into the air, but Quack able Arm drag. Timing drag. Back around, Claudio waiting for him. Quack, arm drag. He knows so many different kinds. Learned him from Sky. Up, down. Monkey flip. But Claudio stop it first. Monkey flip, but Claudio let his face first. The way he talked him, he didn't talk him to sit around. He sent him right in his face. And you're fly. Quack. Over the top. Claudio caught it. Claudio. Jake 
to his feet. Able to get back up. I mentioned that knee and that's a chop block. Ryan's been doing his homework as well. Yep. This he went right after that knee. The Brian was on that show last Sunday in Chicago where, where Jig hurt his knee. First Sunday NFL season and a chop block for the best of the world. Tack out of Claudia. That, that could be a, a game changer here. Meanwhile, Quack is still on the arena floor. No, no. That, that power bomb and then the no. uppercut just sent no, him no. out. Unbelievable yeah. power by Come Claudia Castillo. No. We saw that no hands airplane spin on Hollow Wicked last night. His power it seems limitless sometimes. I'm astounded. Jig trying to make this happen. I don't know if Quack's quite ready to get back in the ring yet. Claudio pulling Jig away from Mike, not even giving him the option of tagging. And now Brian is oh, right back to that knee. And they drive it right into the mat. That left knee was looked at by a doctor this week in the Bronx by Jigsaw. But Jig knew what was on the line. He knew how big of a mattress was, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe he's in here against doctor's orders. Look at Jigsaw. He's just gone into defense mode here. This or any other weekend, on corner. any other match, Jigsaw will be taking a couple weeks off. But he knows he's on the line. He knows Brian Danielson. This will be his last chance to wrestle. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Perhaps forever. Danielson now. Bringing the injured Jigsaw over to his corner. Claudio standing on the ankle. One thing on their mind, it's that injured knee. Oh my goodness, he came right down with all of his body weight. Brian with head of steam and just sits on it there. And now wrapping it up, wow, this could be it. Tying it up. Jigsaw must be in tremendous pain right now. And that doubly dangerous to see Todd Sinclair registering a one count. This is a submission and a pin. Jigsaw shoulder blades are on the mat. Brian is in a dominating position to the point where this could be a pit. Jigsaw wisely bridging up on his neck. At least he's, he's trying to know his shoulders avoid, the, avoid the pin, but... Ah! Now Danielson with a bridge of his own. And Claudio disposing of Quack. Oh, oh, Jig on the way by. Jigsaw is in trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. And consequently, Quack and Jigsaw are in a lot of trouble. Turns him over. Oh my gosh. Over this Brian Look at the stance. Oh, Look at the watching the mechanic in the ring. Yep, yep. And we're glad to have the opportunity to do it. The stance, the power there. Um, Brian saying it stuck. Todd Sinclair get in there. He had the ropes. That would be a clean break, but. I don't care who you are, that doesn't fly in these parts, Loudon. Brian Danielson losing his temper there. But uh, cooler heads prevail. Oh! And there's a European forearm that sets and Jigsaw down. Uppercut right there to the knee. The meniscus area, I believe. I'm not a physician assistant, but. He could be. Oh! Tag, legal tag. Claudio has five seconds. We all know to get out of the ring, but now Danielson drop kick right to that knee. Jigsaw's got to be in so much pain now. He might not even really know where he is or how close to the ropes he could be. Any problem could be wrong with your car. You sent it to the best mechanic in the world, essentially, and that's what Brian's doing here. Brian Danielson with this pronounced mean streak. They say they want Quack. I don't think they wanted Brian to not Quack off the apron. But it seems all scared in this match. They might tear his left patella right off. It's possible. No! All right, Danielson now. Oh, now. Stepping, stepping on the back of that knee. Stepping on the back of both knees. And a bow and arrow type maneuver here. Got the knees hooked. You can see that blue knee pad a little bit down. The kneecap exposed the cheek, which I'm sure is not doing him any favors. Cheeks are trying. The knee pad down when he was tending to it. It's not a good idea. Severely wrenched. C 
seemingly going through his wrestling moves alphabetically to work on that knee. And he can, it'll take a while too. Brian, never been ashamed, never worried to take his time taking a guy apart, just decimating the knee of Jesus. Claudio though, with an elbow, jeez. Well, Main Street got a Claudio too, maybe it's contagious over there in the team uppercut court. But smart move. It's isolating Jigsaw even more. At this he point, already is. At this point, Jigsaw and Quack's only hope, I gotta say, of getting this match is a tag. Jigsaw needs to get to the floor, he needs to get to the corner, he needs to do whatever he can do. And that's if they make the tag. The tag, the tag is only hope. Down hard goes Jigsaw, get the power of Claudio. Claudio, no, no, he's at all to sneeze at. Dead with gut wrench He's just flash. holding him in the air. Holding Jigsaw like he's 100 pounds or something. He's a baby. Makes eye contact with Quack, not saying Claudio threw a baby around. Only two. I mean, uh, the submissions might be what do Jigsaw in that pin. Have the, he had just enough energy in the upper half of his body to get his shoulder off the mat. But now again, possibly kicking out on instinct alone. Toe hold tight there. How much longer can he withstand the punishment that left me? It can't be long. When you're in there with two guys, like Castagnoli and Danielson, you, your minutes, your seconds are numbered when they're going after your knee. Mission hold. Extra dangerous. Jigsaw has no control. His legs are, are wrapped up. His arms are tied up. He, he's, he's trying to arch his back though to relieve a little bit of that pressure. Yeah, he's trying. But all of his appendages are, and appendages are tied up. <laughs> and this could be a pin. Bless his shoulders. Bless his shoulders. Come on, Jigsaw. Claudio can't quite turn Jigsaw for the pin. Couldn't, couldn't stack him up on his shoulders. And you're talking about the most powerful guy, maybe in all of independent wrestling. Look at this. With Jigsaw all sorts of time, and he thought he was in a bad spot before. I think Jigsaw's in a worse one now. I believe he's 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 angering the giant. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. And un unlike Samson, Claudio doesn't need hair to have his powers. <laughs> he doesn't. I feel his pain. Now Brian bringing Jig up to a vertical basis, making him try to get energy to stand, to stand on that bum leg, that bum wheel. Oh, a slap by Jigsaw. Uh, not a whole lot behind it. It's gonna come back times three you times don't four. You don't want And Brian has been your to raise, You don't want to raise the ire of the American Dragon, because he will breathe fire. Yeah. Hits the ropes. Oh, ah. Of course, full drop kick to the knee, which was draped on the rope. Full speed. And Brian's been here before. He's aware of the rule system. Jigsaw rules the floor. Quack's eligible. And this is a whole new ball game. Whipping him in. Nobody home. Wait a second. Jig catches Claudio. Dales into the second row. Jig waiting for him. Now after low bridge, Claudio is not pulling the ropes. Claudio goes out. No. Jigsaw almost makes the tag. Close only counts. Get through the legs of Brian Daniels. Four shoes and hand yeah. That's not going to count on that half. No. May count for a W in the column. No. Half to right. No, no. Wait a second now. Quack, I believe. I have Quack has had no. A palm strike to the face of the best in the world. A little bit of lightning for the American Dragon. Uppercut by Danielson. Palm strike by Quack and Bush. Jigsaw making his way to the floor, the best move he could have made. He touched that is a tag. Yep, that makes the tag legal. Now Quack, the legal man in this match. Oh. Psyched him out, backed up on that one. A barrage of chops by Quackenbush now. Reversal by Danielson. Quack goes hard to the turnbuckle, but he Wait, gets the boot up. Quack, lightning speed, bulldog from the second row. Nicely done, but Danielson is back up to his feet. Quack Jump. goes up for the chop. Bad body drop by Quackenbush. Danielson rolling to the floor. Welcoming Claudio to this match legally. Passes him by. Up and around. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the way down. Face first goes Claudio. Claudio felt the worst that one, but Quack also felt some impact. Come on, Quack. Sand, come on, let's see it. Quite a rivalry between these two as well. Yeah. Match also occurs when these two get together, as we've seen. Back on the drop into a sunset flip. Claudio reverses. Jigsaw! Jigsaw with the kick to the back of the head. Jigsaw now with all he can with that bad leg. Jigsaw makes the cut. Didn't have it. Not enough weight on the shoulders. No way you're going to hold that monster down. Jigsaw, Jigsaw is on one wheel. He yep. cannot even stand on that knee. Yep. Quack and Jig on a, a, as good as a three-legged race here. That Bicycle was... kick on Jig. Quack underneath the clothesline. Pop up. Woo! Whoa! Round right attack to the ball. One, two. What an incredible pity combination by the master of a thousand holes. He trapped that ball, that would have been it. 
Quack has defeated Claudia with that maneuver before. Here come the forearms. There's the full Nelson. Nelson. Quack sits through. Victory roll style pinning combination. On the shoulders, Danielson out of two. Swinging that palm strike back to the full Nelson goes Quack. Maybe looking for Dragon Super, but sick and that's a kick right in the back. The surgically repaired Quack. Back of Quack and Bush. Now, cattle mutilation! That's the cattle mutilation! He's got it cinched in! That is his calling card as far as, as, far as submissions are concerned. He has won countless matches and titles with this exact maneuver. And Jigsaw now with one leg! With one leg! Breaks that up! That's all it took to break up the cattle mutilation. Jigsaw, Jigsaw now in the ring. Quack rolling out. Throwing a couple forearms on his own, but look out, here's Claudio. Oh my god! Launches him into the right. stratosphere! Uppercut! Quack right there! Luckily, Quack was still on the ring apron, able to break off that pity combination. Jake was Claudio sets him right to the floor. Ten feet in the air, and Danielson was waiting, and now Claudio looking to mobilize Quack, but he sits on that half crab, and this one, I believe, might be as good as over. Look at Claudio just standing guard. You know, Jigsaw. They love, they love their seafood here in New Hampshire, but this wasn't the half crap they were looking for. Drag him away from the ropes. Jigsaw has the ropes. Sinclair enforcing the count. And Claudio and Quack on the floor, up against that steel post. Oh! Claudio uppercut at the steel post. Jigsaw kicks off Danielson. One leg, steps around, rolls through. Schoolboy, team sits on it. With that one bad leg, there's no way he can put all his weight on top of Danielson. He goes into double the super kick! Double super kick! In stereo air available, Quack rolls in away from the ropes. But he can't hook a leg. No. But that, that is the Chikara special loud and noxious, and he's got it hooked. Any reversals you know. You are not getting out of the Chikara special. He's got him cinched on the best in the world, and Claudio right there. He's in the training session. He knows what the Chikara special can do. He leveled him with that European yeah. uppercut. His calling card. And now, uh -oh. possibly. We saw this last night against Hollywood yeah. in West Springfield. Spinning around. Airplane spinner, torture rack side. Claudio with no hand! With no hand! And spins him around! Unbelievable power! Like Quackenbush right in the center of the ring, and it's two and a half! Two and a half! Jigsaw unable to make the save, but Quack gets his shoulder up. Claudio spins around Quack somehow with the wherewithal to get his right shoulder blade off the canvas. I think he's coming up to that bicycle kick. He misses. He misses Quack, and Jig again with a low bridge of the ropes. These ropes very low, not the ring that the Chikara guys are used to, so it's easy to get a low bridge. Danielson goes back on the attack. Double Lightning under quick super suplex. Not with it hook, but just flips him over. And now Danielson going to the high rank district. Up top going to the American Dragon. He can fly. Kid. We know he can fly. And headbutts from up there. Such precision, but Jigsaw right up there behind him. Keep in mind, Jig's on one knee. I don't know if that knee is going to support his weight when he tries to get him up for that superplex. But Claudio right up there with him. Jigsaw able to fight Claudio off Claudio. Didn't have his footing. Jigsaw goes to the floor. Right to the floor. Quack with the palm on Danielson. Lightning palm connects. Quack and Bush going to the top. Double undercook. All the way. Butterfly style. Danielson headbutting Quack. Throws it through. Quack able to roll into the, the brunt of that. On his set flip by Brian Danielson. But Quack. Alligator clutch. No one escapes the alligator clutch. He's got three. Three count. Quack and Jake take it.